All right, Vic, I got a series of questions revolving around Wild Card Weekend um, that I want to get to and, here. And I've got a lot of I got a lot of texts I want to respond to regarding Carmelo. A bunch of texts just came through, and I have an answer for every single one of them because I think there are some misperceptions, and then there are some common threads in here I agree with. I, we're going to get to the Melo thing in depth at 9 o'clock. Yep, 15 minutes from now. Uh, Marty, hit me with some music, please. I want some Wild Card, some super Wild Card Weekend music. Thank you. Um, series of questions, Vic. You give me the first answer that pops in your head. Lower seed, most capable of an upset this weekend. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to eliminate Philadelphia from the discussion. Okay, because of the finger? Well, yeah, along with Philly and Tampa, whatever. I guess choose wh- whoever you want. I'm not going to make rules for you. Go ahead. Lowest seed, most capable of an upset this weekend. I mean, dare I say it, the Rams? I think you're probably right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted to eliminate Cleveland because they're favorites in that game, despite being the lower seed. I think it's between the Rams and uh, the Dolphins. I think one of those two. Now, the weather's going to affect things in Kansas City, but if Mostert and and Achan can can run the football effectively, I think they still can win that game. Yeah, I would give the uh, the edge to the Rams only because – uh, they get a quarterback who's been there and done that, and he's won a Super Bowl. And Detroit largely. How many of these Detroit players have playoff experience? Dude, literally, I was <laughs> thinking about that. There's like five yeah. guys on the entire yeah. roster that have that experience, not to mention the one thing the Lions are terrible at. Their pass defense is atrocious. They give up 800 yards in two games to Nick Mullins. Stafford, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, they should have a field day. So The one lower seed I would love to see pull off the upset, Green Bay. Me too. Me too. Um, Coach who could get fired over a loss this weekend. Who's number one? Uh, Let's stay in Dallas. I think it's McCarthy. But you know, let's stay in Dallas. If they lose that game, good night. Can I throw out a couple of names? I agree with you. It's McCarthy number one. I I actually think that Jerry Jones shows him a shotgun shell and says, "This is for you if you lose the game." Just so you know and you're aware, it's got your name on it. If little I, motivation. If I told you um, McDermott and Buffalo, would you buy that? No, because I think they finished pretty strong. I, th- I do. They ran the table to get there, and I think they're willing to give him another shot. I don't think – would I be surprised? No. Would if, I be shocked? Yes. If I told you Todd Bowles in Tampa, would you be shocked? Yes. If How I, the hell is Todd Bo- – how's, L- how's Tampa in the playoffs? Yeah. Three years running now. I know. Uh, one more for you. I saw this on ESPN. Sirianni is not a given that he continues next year, depending on what happens this weekend. And that's a shock, considering they were just in the Super Bowl. <laughs> like, just there. Yeah. Well, look what happened to Doug Peterson a couple years after the Super Bowl. Well, and, they, and this meltdown at the end of the year is not making things any better. All right, next one. Player that could surprise the most in the playoffs. Surprise the most? Is this a question that says... This player hasn't done jack, but come playoff time, he does a lot. What? Because there are players that have been very effective that I, I think continue in that manner. My choice is Flacco. I think Flacco could surprise people by putting up some But would that be a numbers. surprise by definition? Because he's already he's established himself as a pretty damn good playoff quarterback. But he was left for dead. He got, pick, he, he got picked up off his couch like five weeks ago. I think that's pretty surprising. Other names I came up with. Baker? If if Tampa goes on a little run, maybe Baker. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you Jordan Love. I think that's a great answer. Uh, Jordan Love has been playing great football the last seven weeks. He's got 18 touchdowns and one pick in the last seven games. If they upset Dallas, hell yeah, it could be Jordan Love. Yeah. Watch Jordan Love outplay Dak and watch the questions come from Dallas. One, two, or zero. How many one seeds make the Super Bowl? God. I say two this year. I say two. I say they both make the Super Bowl this year. I'm going to say one, and I could get totally burnt on this. So which one fails to get there? You think it's going to be San Fran? I, I think, you don't think San Francisco makes it? I, look, if Brock Purdy can totally prove me wrong, if he, if he stays healthy for this and takes him to the Super Bowl, then I got no choice. I got to get on board with Brock Purdy. I'm not there. I think there's going to be a game that's going to get difficult, and he's going to have to make throws, and he won't. 
Who's that team that knocks them off, though? I Forget about them. I'm talking about the team that knocks them off. Is it Dallas? Could be. I mean, I, honestly, between Dallas, if Detroit can keep their pass defense in check. Right. Take, and, it, take it easy. Take it, well, take and it Vic. Easy. And hey, hey, take, take it easy. The Rams. I really think the Rams got a shot to make a run. Truly. That, that would be ridiculous. Just that pass... The passing attack they have and Kyron Williams on the backfield, they're going to yeah. give everybody they face fits. What a run that would be. You're right. For a team not even expected to make the playoffs, suddenly be a threat in the playoffs? Yeah. No. Okay, we'll see. MVP of the playoffs. You have to predict it now. Best Lamar player Jackson. of the postseason. I think it's Lamar, Lamar too. Jackson. I think this is the um, year he although, gets it done. Yeah, because he, he, he wants to overcome something that is really um, – been tough on him because what have we seen in years past? Oh man, he's pretty good until they get to the playoffs. Well, it's either he gets hurt that game or he gets shut down. Yeah, it's one of the two. Uh, I think he breaks through this year. I think this is it. Most disappointing player of the playoffs. Tua. Good answer. I'm, I'm going to say Dak. I think they could lose that game to the Packers. I really do. I know they're at home and they won 16 straight and all that stuff. There's something about Dak. I just don't trust him. In the postseason. I think the pressure gets to that guy. Um, team you're most rooting for. God, for uh, for our purposes, just for the health of the show, <laughs> I don't mind when Detroit wins. I don't. I mean, I Detroit's a fun team to watch, but so are the Rams. See, I, I think the winner of that game, either one of those teams, I wouldn't mind Running the table, to if, be honest with you. If I left mine out, I'd be cool with Cleveland or, or Miami. I like both those teams. You know what? And and this comes from a longtime Bronco fan. The the Cleveland Browns, yesterday was a horrible day for Cleveland on the calendar. Yesterday was the anniversary of the drive. And if you're a Clevelander, you forever hate that day. So, yeah, I could see Cleveland. I wouldn't mind if Cleveland has a... Sunny forecast, put it that way. I wouldn't mind that. I mean, gone through five quarterbacks this year. If they make a run like All that, the hell they've gone through. You're right. The revolving door of QBs, franchise that can't figure things out. Yeah, I'm with you. More likely to make the Super Bowl, the Chiefs or the Bills? I'm going to say Bills. I think so, too. I'm going to say Bills only because this will be the Chiefs' first run away from Arrowhead after this week. Yep. And you know what? Buffalo is as hot as anybody in the NFL. Like, yeah. whatever they found, it's working. I think Buffalo's got a better shot. Um, so here's how I worded this one. The game you'd least pay for. So which of the games this weekend, if it was on Peacock, would make you yeah. least want to buy the subscription? Okay, because the one that is on Peacock, I will watch. Yes, me too. You know, I think a lot of people will. I would want to watch Rams Lions. That that looks great to me. Uh, the game that oh man, that's a tough one. I guess by default. Oh man, Browns Texans. I think Even it's between that. I choose. Of, I choose Pitt and Buffalo. I don't need to watch the Steelers Mason Rudolph. I don't need. Yeah, that one. yeah, that was the other one I was looking at. That was, no it, TJ it Watt sort of, either. Yeah. Yeah. Stinks. Yeah. You know, I was going to pick Packers Cowboys only because I'm tired of Packers Cowboys. Right. And I've seen that game. You know, it's like Yankees, Red Sox. But it's different now. Seen, it's different yeah. with Green Bay now. Um, and then last one. Will we be talking about the new best quarterback in the NFL after this postseason? Right now, Mahomes holds the crown. At the end of this, will we be saying it's Lamar? It's Josh Allen, it's Dak, it's Tua, it's Jalen Hurts, it's somebody. If Lamar Jackson makes a run, wins a Super Bowl, and carries his team along the way, yes, I think Lamar Jackson will reintroduce himself to the viewing public. Because he so was, too. he's a former MVP. Yep. I mean, he is, he's already been there. When he's and he's probably he winning off. it this year, too. Probably winning the MVP again. Yeah. Um, I think you're right. I think we're going to find a new one. Because I don't think it's going to be Mahomes that wins the Super Bowl. And if Lamar does it, I think he takes the crown. So... There you go. Just some questions for the wild card round this weekend. But you're right, Vic. When I was asked, when I had game you'd least pay for, I was like, I kind of want to watch all these. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch all, all these way, games. 
I don't know if you were here when we discussed Peacock and what the NFL's doing a little bit. and what NBC's doing, putting that behind a paywall. Dude, you understand this is going to happen again, right? And again, well, Vic- and it's going to happen in the next round, and eventually it's going to be the norm. Do you know that? Because people are assuming, the assumption is this. I heard Bill Simmons on a podcast say this is a horrible decision by the NFL. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, let me let me put it to you this way. Um, and, and, and I don't agree with it. Listen, I want to watch it for free, too. We all do. But from a money standpoint, there's a reason they're doing it. But, but Vic, because, let me, let me bring something else into the equation here because I just talked to somebody, and this is maybe an unintended consequence of putting this game on Peacock. We all, I've already told you how I feel. I hate it. I think it's super greedy by, by the network. Like, you're, you're paying a lot of money for the football stuff already. Sure. You don't need this, but fine, whatever. Forget my portion of this. You know who's really getting screwed right now? I talked to a guy who owns a bar. They had to buy multiple subscriptions to mm-hmm. get to all their TVs because you only, can, all the can only use a couple at a time. 